I've decided to build a Lego city inspired by GTA and give you the lowdown on its resident lives. What's going down in a city full of crooks, theft, fast cars and hot girls? This episode kicks off a series where you will see loads of custom buildings, cars and most importantly minifigures. I will introduce you to the top dogs of the criminal underworld and famous celeb. To kick off our adventure we just need a name for our city. Let's go with Las Figuras. Just like in the beginning of every GTA game, we start with a hero who's got absolutely nothing. Based on those mobile game ads, we start with a level 1 crook. Let's call him, I don't know, 4-pack. To build the character for this episode, I will use parts from various brands known for high quality prints on original Lego pieces. I talked more about them in my last episode. The only thing our dude has is childhood connection. After chatting with an old neighborhood friend, he finds out that his old troublemaker pals now run a pretty successful but shady business in the calming plants industry. The crew operates under the name Staff Street after the street they live on. I started building the Stad Street Gang's house on a base plate that serves as the foundation. Then I added a busted sidewalk and lawn, placing a few typical GTA yard items. On the right side, there's a driveway for the cruise car. I imagine Stad Street living in a typical, unconspicuous single-story house. I added a porch at the front, built a wall with a sloped roof, and threw in a chimney on the right side. In front of the house, I put some small plants and other details. On the right, I built various elements to show the detailed GTA style walls and back entrance. Finally, I added the rear and other side walls. Of course, the backyard in Las Figuras needs tall pantries. Inside, I made a fully equipped kitchen, a decent sized bathroom, and a cool looking living room, or should I say, plantation. The house is ready. Time to introduce the Stad Street crew. The group's leader is Jackson Jr., the mastermind and the shrewdest member. He's been into calming plant cultivation since he was a kid with his grandpa. The crew also includes Animan, youngest handling product distribution, and b -Dog, the muscle, providing protection. Back to our main dude, Forpak decided to take control of his life. The plan is simple, reconnect with old friends and make some cash by helping them out. To get to Stad Street, he needs a ride. An abandoned bike nearby would do just fine. If it's on the street, it's up for grabs, right? Time to find a weapon. Oh? Okay, this baseball bat will do. Let's check our skills. Oh, oh, there's someone in the alley. Oh no, looks like the bike's owner. Guess it's a fight time. Luckily, the dude was a total noob, even more than us. One hit and he's down. We also made a few bucks. Wow, what's this? We leveled up to level 2 and now our rank is little bad boy. Four pack kept searching for gear. In a dumpster we found some clothes, but nah. Wait, what's this? Looks like we got lucky. The latest shit phone 15. Perfect for subbing and liking Big Figgy's newest video. Now the main thing. We need cash. Time to head back to the old hood. Quick smoke break and let's go. Shit. <coughs> now we really need money. Or maybe? Okay, let's run away. Got another star, gotta hide for about 10 seconds? Okay, we're clear. A few minutes later, we are at Stad Street. Damn! <laughs> Smells as bad as ever. But wait, where's the gang's house? Okay, this must be it. Let's see what's up. Doors open, no one in the kitchen. Let's check the living room. Of course, we find them there tending to their not-so-legal business. Yo, what's up, guys? Holy shit, a ghost! Dude, where have you been all these years? Here and there, long story. Folks kicked me out, need some cash. Got any jobs for me? Hell yeah, we got. But first, clean yourself up. Jackson sent us to his room to pick out some clothes and a weapon. Much better, grab the basic pistol too, though our guns aren't great yet. Didn't take long for our first mission. We gotta steal a car from a car wash owned by the rival gang leader. The car wash owner owes Stad Street big amount of money from their old plant dealing days. And, of course, they are not just washing car upholstery, but also their dirty money. Jackson's dream car, a Chevrolet Corvette, just happens to be there. No surprise, the car is the beauty. I started building the car wash on a base plate, later making it easy to connect different buildings that will make up Las Figuras. I added a broken sidewalk and a small lawn with some plants. I built the walls with sanguine bricks to give it that rundown look. At the entrance I put up some ads and a machine to start the wash. On the left side I built a small yard with a typical GTA style fence from Citizen Brick. I finished the interior with tan and light blue pieces and added brushes and mechanics for the car wash. On the right I built our rival's office. 
outside I added some dumpsters and a bike rack. Obviously the dumpsters are overflowing. Hey! I built the upper floor featuring the rival plantation and the night guard's room. At the end I added a small balcony and finished the building with simple roof. Time to get to work. Quick save, health regime and let's start. The trip didn't take long despite running over your mama at the crosswalk. Of course we took all her stuff. Leveled up to 3 and increased our driving skills by 10. Turns out this was a very effective way to level up. At the car wash it's clear our rivals are doing well in more than just shady business. The place was packed with customers and cool cars. Looks like calming plants pair well with car cleaning. Time to come up with a plan. Based on the tips from our friends we should wait till evening. At 7 pm Tommy whose car is our target arrives. At 8 pm the car wash is still open but only the guard Tyler stays behind. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Dude sleeps upstairs and smokes all night. All right we'll climb the dumpster at the back, break a window and get inside. Then we'll bust down the door next to it which will make a lot of noise and wake Tyler. We will have about a minute to take him out and escape with Tommy's car. Otherwise Tyler will call for backup and his crew lives nearby. Let's wait. Time to move. Mask on, grab the pistol and let's go. First we will hide in the bushes across from the car wash and scope out the scene. Besides the car wash worker there were three people around. One bum and two passersby. Okay. It's pretty dark now. The worker closed the gate, time to start. As we approach the building, we hit our first obstacle, but we are ready for it. And surprise, no one mentioned a dog. Luckily, it's asleep. Let's sneak. Somehow we get through the open window. We dash inside and quickly run upstairs. We take out the guy on the phone, but unfortunately he already called his crew. Time to run away. Okay, this won't be easy. We need a plan. We still have 100 so we can just stop, get out and blast them with a bazooka. Yeah! perfect plan. Our enemies are now just black stuff. Time to head back and tell the crew the mission was a success. Jackson was so stoked he forgot to thank us but we still got respect from the crew. Level up to level 4 and we got a few bucks. It turns out they already have the next job lined up for us. Collecting protection money from a nearby grocery store. This seems like a straightforward job so we are heading out right away. On a prepared base plate with a sidewalk I built a store with light yellow walls and large windows. I branded all elements with the store's logo. In front of the store I added the small bench for a local bar. The back walls were built with nougat colored bricks. On the side of the building I placed a small piece of art along with its creator. Inside the store was equipped with many well stocked shelves. To label the products I used great stickers from Brick Pim. At the back I built a small restroom, office, storage area for the store owner. The build was topped with a flat roof and an air conditioning system. Next to the store I built a standard bus stop. Now that we have all the buildings planned for this episode we can connect them and add roads and other accessories. Surprised that all these buildings are in the same neighborhood? Well, LEGO cities have never been known for their large size. To bring some life to my city, I added a lot of minifigures and a few cars. Time to get back to our main character store. According to the plan, we just need to approach the store owner and ask him to go to the storage room. Then take the money and exit through the back door. And that's exactly what we did. Unfortunately, it turned out that the store owner was fed up with paying us money. And the rival gang, from whom we recently stole a car, offered him a lower protection fee. It also it also turned out that the local bum had a debt of gratitude to the rival gang and informed them that we are coming today. Giving them time to call in the backup we already know. We are screwed. But at least the city is awesome. <laughs>